I, this was kind of a late addition to the packet, which was uh, um, Anna had prepared a draft letter that we had talked about in December to the city. Um, and so hopefully you've had a chance to look at it, but it is in the folder there if you wanted to take a look and see what we have prepared. Uh, the, 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 the camp continues to grow and continues to get a, just more ridiculous and out of hand. This bottom picture in the bottom right here is a motor home that had tags that have been expired for five years or so, Washington tags that have been expired that just appeared in the middle of the night, backed in here halfway in the street and the police are, you know, uh, or that they had to come and tow it out of the street because it just stopped in the middle of the street and was just sitting there. Um, uh, I don't know, you know, what was loaded in or out of that and went into the camp, but it, it is, uh, um, it's growing and spreading out and our staff is, um, uh, um, is dealing with it more and more and it's, um, uh, it, it, it's getting a little out of hand. So I don't know, if, Anna, if you wanted to talk a little bit about the letter that you drafted and, um, uh, and if the board, if board members have had a chance to, to take a look at that and give any feedback on, on if you think that we're uh, right on line with uh, speaking for you. Um, yeah, I, I would welcome anybody's input. I, um, I tried to, the, the, the ask is, you know, help us get it cleaned up and restored back to how it was before, you know, the homeless encampment happened. And then, you know, please enforce city's rules. Um, and, and so that this doesn't happen. And I, I tried to convey that, of course, we're empathetic to the issue. Um, we, you know, but that that doesn't mean we have we, we have to that it, it's acceptable. We're empathetic, but it's not acceptable. And I recognize, and you know, I, Suzanne, I'm sure you, it, well, actually me and you guys might both have some comments to this, but um, you know, there's a, a shelter in place. It was my understanding that a lot of this stuff was a, a abandoned uh, because the shelter is available currently, but the warming shelter isn't permanent. So I don't, I don't know what we can do, but I don't think that this is necessarily the, the solution. Um, so yeah, I, uh, please let me know what your thoughts are and if there's a, a, a kinder way to do this, um, I'm open to it. But I also, you know, the, the city's rules um, say no overnight camping, no fire, no, and I, I pointed those out. I mean, I think it, we all, the, the reason why society works is that we all, abide by the same set of rules and they apply to everyone equally. So um, I, I don't know, I welcome your thoughts. I, um, I think it's plenty nice enough. I don't have a problem with that. I, I, it's just, we have to do something and well, we can't do anything. They need to do their job. Do we um, need, oh, excuse me, Nan, go ahead. No, go, no you go ahead. Uh, do we need a motion, Anna, to, to send this out? I guess I'd like to know if, if you guys are comfortable with me signing it. Like, do you want me to send it from me? Should it be coming from the district? Should it be coming from the all of us as the board? Do I mean, how, like, I think the way I worded it is I had, I prepared this on behalf of the board. Um, I can't remember. I where did my printed copy go? Um, also, I I mean, do we maybe we have Ruben look at it to make sure I'm not having getting us getting us into any trouble. Um, I'm happy to take a look at it, and um, I I think as to Mike's question, um, if if you're all going to rally behind and send this as a board, um, we should do a motion to have the board formally approve it and then you could just make the motion subject to legal review so that i can take a look at it before it goes out and make sure we're not gonna cause any big issues there yeah that that was my motion exactly ruben and uh <laughs> the only thing i would add is that it's from make sure it's from the whole board yeah. subject to legal review that we approve the letter And the way I have it written right now is it's to um, city manager with all the city council copied. Is that acceptable or do you, you know, maybe Ruben, you have another way to, to do that. But I think that that's, 
to me, it seemed the, the most appropriate. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that works. I mean, I just wouldn't expect um, uh, the council members to maybe reply because they don't want a serial meeting to occur, but um, that works as far as getting the word out. Do you think, do you guys think we should include um, chief of police on it? Since we're asking for enforcement? He'll see it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think chief Holstey will see it. Okay. Yeah. There's um, a spelling issue. Um, where did I see it? Oh, it's I already I already texted it to her. Oh, you did the off <laughs> the oof. I love okay. you guys. The oof. Okay, yeah. thanks. You're oof. welcome. English teachers. Mm. <laughs> I'm not an English teacher, line. but I uh, I thought I thought it was good. I think I mean my only advice would be to be a little more direct in what we're asking of them. Um, I agree you're being really nice and like it, like maybe at the beginning and at the end to just be really direct about it. here's what we want you to do. Um, it, that, I, I guess, cause, cause it's, it's, there's a lot of legalese in it and us non-legalese people get kind of lost in that. So that would be my only advice is, is to uh, just be a little more direct at the beginning and the end about specifically what you want them to do. Okay. I think it was great and I appreciate all the time and energy it took to pull all that together. Thank you very much. I really like that you looked at the current IGA that we have with them and are quoting kind of what the, uh, um, what each of our roles are on that. I remember during the December meeting, there was talk of perhaps uh, um, backing out of the IGA if the city does not uh, take any sort of an action. I'm not suggesting that. I don't know if that's the where we want to go, but I, you know, um, uh, that was just something that had been brought up before by, you know, when, when we were talking about it before. So um, uh, um, it might not be the appropriate time, but maybe if we get a reply back and we know that they're not going to do about it, do anything about it, then 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 that's where we go with it. Um, which is if if you're not in doing your side of things we can't continue to operate this park in the way that it's being ran. Um, and the truth is if, if, if the argument is that they can't be there because there is another option, the other option is only there for another month, I believe, or less. Well, and then the sh yeah, and the issue is the, that option is full right now. It's at the maximum it's capacity. It's full, right, there's um, a wait list. That was why the day the thing opened before it was at maximum capacity, I wrote a letter to the city asking them to take care of this. And they said, we're going to wait and assess. And if they would have done it at that moment, they it would have been, been fine. Um, but if you look in the news, you see that Portland has just started to, uh, um, uh, changing some of their rules to get people out of parks. There's no rule that says the city has to allow this in any park. The rule is that they have to allow a place and that they are um, somewhere on their property. There's lots of other properties um, uh, and um, and there, I guarantee you, if this if this uh, camp showed up in the middle of Jackson Park, it would not be allowed. Yeah. Um, and so it's it's uh, um, I, I I think that that's part of it is is just if you're going to allow it, why why this park why right here um, and why let it get like this? Even if you're allowing someone shelter, that doesn't mean that we should allow uh, uh, this much trash and all this stuff to accumulate. And the other thing is I noticed when we had a participant in the public, uh, Tracy Thomas Spool was there. I'm not sure how you say their name, but um, I, you know, I, I would be surprised if there's not a bunch of people who have kids that enjoy the skate park or, you know, um, frisbee golf people, disc golf people that that would, you know, probably rally around starting to make a stink to the city about it and I don't know if that's our job to do but maybe somebody I don't know Tracy but maybe somebody wants to make they already calls. have oh, okay <laughs> yeah and this has been an ongoing thing and I can send a uh, in fact when I when I write Ruben I can send it to all of you but they the um there is a group that wrote the city in November and Dan Kearns the attorney for the city did reply to that um 
and there's some 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 uh, um, some of their justification in his reply on why uh, um, they had not taken care of it, but we should probably take a look at that too.